guys, check out what Daisy just did. Look at Daisy over there. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm hanging out in my back patio. I'm gonna change things up a little bit. I'm gonna do a cooking video today. I haven't done one in a while. I've been busting my butt all week. I wanna relax, but I still wanna put out a video for you guys. So I got my smoker going back here and I'm ready to start cooking. All right, so today's meat of choice is Asiago peppercorn style pork loin filet on the top. And on the bottom I have a roasted garlic and cracked black pepper. It's a fresh pork tenderloin. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these things in a smoker and then we'll cook up the sides. All right, for today's cook, I'm gonna be using this Therm Pro. I picked it up from Walmart, it's about 20 bucks. I've had it for a while. I have it set to 160 degrees. That's gonna be the cooking temperature of the pork. Right now it says the probe temp, which is right here, the probe. It's at 48 degrees, which is exactly what it is outside right now. So once this food hits 160 degrees, this thing will start beeping and let me know that the food is ready to go. So what I'm gonna be using today is this Master Bill. It's a John McLemore Signature Series. I have it set for about 260 degrees right now. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down to about 250, and that's the temperature I'm gonna be cooking on for the entire cook. Man, that smells good. The dogs are thinking, yeah, it does smell good. Where's ours at? All right. Some big chunks of meat here. I'll be able to eat for a few days with this. Oh yeah. All right, so since this one right here is the fatter piece, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the probe in that one. Stick it right in the middle. Close this thing up and let the stuff start cooking. So you can see I have it right here set to 160 degrees. And that's the internal temperature of the meat right now, 36 degrees. So it's gonna take quite a while for these to cook. I'm gonna cook it low and slow and have a nice, good smoke flavor to this meat. All right, so I'm gonna be making my side here. It's just a mixture of a bunch of vegetables. I'm just going to saute them in a cast iron over here. It's not going to be anything fancy. If the dogs want to chew on those, they can. If not, I'll feed them to the animals outside. We got some zucchini, some squash, some green onions, some peppers, and then uh, some cilantro and little uh, cherry tomatoes. So. A lot of uh, color, a lot of goodness. This table's not the most sturdy. Next is some of these green onions. Absolutely love green onions. Plus I can just throw these in the garden when I'm done. This knife's not the sharpest either. Kind of like some of the people that I feel whenever they comment on my videos. A burn. I like most of y'all's comments. Like 99% of them. And I can get these and just stick them straight into the uh, raised bed in the garden and grow some more. All right, next is a bunch of the cilantro. I absolutely love cilantro. Just pull it straight off, throw it in the pan. 
all this stuff's gonna cook down, so it'll be good. Got Tucker over here trying to sniff. I don't think so, buddy. I just fed y'all too. You can sit there and look all cute if you want. Still not gonna give you none of this food. Wagging your tail. Get these cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna throw the whole thing in. Come on, Jared. Don't let the package be smarter than you. I am. I am that person. Oh. <laughs> what an idiot. All I had to do was this. Jeez. Man, I'm an idiot. Sprinkle those in. All right. All right, guys. So last but not least, these orange and red peppers. Oh, man, these things are going to be delicious. I can eat these things just like candy. I really need to invest in a better table. This thing shakes too much. I'm not going to make any crazy cuts or anything. Just throw those out. Like I said, if the animals want them, they can eat them. Just slice it up. A little slice and dice action. See, I don't know if y'all can see Tucker. He's stand, or sitting right here. Oh, yeah. I just got done watching a Simple Life Reclaimed. Watching their video of them uh, packing everything up. Can't wait for them to go off grid and start their new house, the house build. All right, so I got the orange one in. Cut up the red one. I should just cook outside more often. That way I can just throw stuff out like that. Just hit Tucker in the back. I like doing cooking videos because I don't know how to cook. I just pretend like I do. If it doesn't taste good, I'm still gonna be like, mm, yeah, as I'm like almost wanting to puke. I'm pretty sure I'll like this meal. There's nothing much to it. It'll look fancy though when it's done. None of these cuts are perfect, and that's what I like about it. All right. Take you in for a closer look. All right, guys, you can see all the colors in there. Do some fresh cracked pepper on it. I'll add more in later. Some sea salt. And some olive oil. Just to help cook everything down. Now it's time to heat this thing up. Yeah, buddy, hear that sizzle. I love cooking on cast iron. Smells good. All right, so it's been cooking for a while. I'm gonna try a piece out.
Denny's just a little bit longer. Some of the tomato and stuff look cooked. Cilantro's already cooked. The peppers, I'll try a little piece of pepper. It's got a good crunch to it. I'm gonna give this another five minutes and this will be done. So what'd you guys think of my electric cooker? It's freaking awesome, I love it. I don't have a real conventional oven like most people do in their house or a stove top, that's what I use. And I have a little toaster oven as well. But I like having that because it's easy to bring outside, cook, have a good time outside, enjoy the view. Right now it's starting to mist, so I was glad that I was able to get the sides done. But comment down below if you, uh, if you like that style of cooking. I absolutely love cooking on cast iron. I think it makes the food taste even better. All right, so now the sides are done. It's time to check on the main course. See what it's looking like. Oh yeah, very smoky. Let's take you in for a closer look. All right, so my thermometer shows that it's 63 degrees on the inside. I'm looking to get it about a 160 degrees, so I still got quite a bit of ways to go. But that's what I love about smoking food. You just get to relax, enjoy yourself while your food's cooking, and then come back and check it when it's done. There's my two troublemakers. Daisy, Tuck. You're all muddy, you've been playing outside, huh? Y'all look all innocent on camera, but people don't know that you've been chewing up my couch. Yeah, I said it. Daisy's been chewing up my couch. Look at her walk away now. She knows she's guilty. <laughs> Little turd. Guys, check out what Daisy just did. Look at Daisy over there. She pulled a beer bottle out of the barn. Daisy, come here. Bring it to daddy. Daisy, come here, baby girl. Come on, bring that beer over here. That is funny. <laughs> that is funny. I ain't making that up either. Check that out. A shiner. Apparently, Daisy likes Shiner. <laughs> that is awesome. I promise I'm a good father. I don't let my children drink. <laughs> oh, man. This is perfect. Tucker, are you enjoying that Shiner? And then old Daisy had too much to drink. Look at her. That is funny. Daisy has one beer and she's passed out. Granny really likes sweet baby Ray. This one's not as sweet, but a So that's one of my favorite things about YouTube. I'm outside barbecuing, watching my parents barbecue down there with Matt. If you don't know who they are, it's Crocker Simply Southern. That's my parents' channel. And my older brother Matt, his is the real Matt Crocker. But this is what it's all about. It's making memories. You'd be able to go back and watch videos. If anything ever happened to any of us, we'd have tons of footage to go back and watch and just reminisce on the good times. But it's very cool to be able to watch them on TV, hang out here and cook food, and enjoy time with my family, <laughs> since it is virtually. Baxter, what are you doing, little buddy? You just waiting for this food to finish cooking? Yeah, me too.
All right, guys, let's check it out and see if it's done. Oh, man, those things look good. Take him for a closer look. Heck, yeah, those things look good. Man, Woo. I'm going to pull the probe out and flip them over real quick. Those things look good. Talk about smell of vision. I'm gonna be eating good tonight. Yeah, buddy. Shoot dang. All right, I think the food's ready to go. Yeah, buddy. Waiting hours for this. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, guys, there's the final product. It is ready to eat. Yeah, buddy. Shoot, dang. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. Is it good or is it a failure? Here's a little piece of that tenderloin. That is good. Whatever seasoning they put on this stuff is, it's excellent, it's awesome. Mm. I've only made this one other time. This blows it out of the water, man. Here's the other piece. Look at all that steam coming off of it. Just came off the smoker. Here's the bigger chunk. That one's not bad. I actually like the other one way better. This one's a lot chewier. This one's a lot crunchier, which I prefer. Oh man, that is good. Finger looking good. Hell yeah. I could eat that every day. Then I got the side over here. Zucchini, squash, tomatoes, green peppers, cilantro. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be full tonight, that's good. You can't go wrong with vegetables like that. Definitely want to try one of the smaller ones again. Look at that, that is awesome. Cooked perfectly, it's got a nice little bark to it. No dip in sauce whatsoever, just smoke flavor. I outdid myself this time. I'm not even exaggerating. This is actually pretty freaking good. Well worth the four hours. Mm. Check out the bark on that. Cooked perfectly. With a nice bark edge. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot, dang, bang, bang. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a blast cooking everything, just hanging out with the dogs, taking it easy today. It's Friday. Why not relax, have a little bit of fun, and cook? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, go down and smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, buddy. Just look at that. That steam just coming off of it. Pulls right apart. Boom. Peace.